What's going on guys, Sam here, and this week's quickie is on motion tracking. So we get a lot of emails asking us why your guys' motion tracks don't look too great. And I like to follow three simple steps when I'm shooting videos to make sure that the motion track will come out great. And the first one is camera movement. You wanna make sure your camera movements aren't too complex, but what also helps the computer is having parallax, so the computer can tell what's in the foreground and what's in the background. The second is shutter speed. Your shutter speed heavily affects the motion blur of your shot. A higher shutter speed means less motion blur. When I do visual effects shots, I shoot at a shutter speed of 1 200th of a second. The third is aperture. You want to have a deep depth of field so that the computer has a lot to work with when tracking contrast points. If you have a shallow depth of field, it's all blurry and your computer is not going to be able to track it. Just be sure to keep these three tips in mind when you're getting your shots and I ensure you that you're gonna have better tracking results on the computer. If you're unsure about motion tracking, be sure to check out recent tutorials we've uploaded. I show you how to do it and how you can add visual effects in as well. Thanks guys.